Hello and welcome to 60 Second Crypto. Today we're going to be showing you how to create your own NFT on OpenSea.io. Uh, as you can see here, we've got an example picture of a crappy croc uh, in front of a rainbow. Uh, this is going to be our artwork that we're going to use to upload to OpenSea. So first step, make sure you're using Google Chrome. Uh, you need to have a wallet, an Ethereum wallet, in order to log into OpenSea. OpenSea doesn't have accounts, you log in using Ethereum wallets. So to do that, you're going to Google MetaMask, click the first result, and there's conveniently a MetaMask Chrome extension. This is the easiest way to make a wallet. You don't need identity verification or anything. Uh, so go ahead and add to Chrome, add extension. Once MetaMask is finished installing, it's going to pop up a getting started window for you. Uh, you can import an existing wallet, but we're going to assume that you're creating a new one. So click create a new wallet. Uh, it doesn't matter what you choose here to help improve MetaMask or not. Uh, you're going to create a password for your wallet. Check the box that you read and agree to the terms of use. And then what MetaMask is going to do now is going to give you a secret recovery phrase. Now this is way more important than your password. This allows you to log in anywhere with your wallet. So make sure you copy down the secret recovery phrase. This is a burner wallet, so I'm just going to leave it public, but you don't want to show these to anyone. Uh, I would take a picture of it, I would write it down somewhere, but keep it secure. So after that, MetaMask is going to test you to make sure you actually save the secret recovery phrase. I've got it up at the top here, so I'm just going to enter it. And after that, your account should be created. So as you can see, we've got a wallet right here and an Ethereum account. So I'm going to go up to the top right corner and then pin MetaMask to my Chrome profile. Yeah, you can now go to OpenSea and upload your NFT. So go to OpenSea.io. This is the largest NFT marketplace currently. Uh, in order to sign in, you sign in using your MetaMask, but we're just going to go straight to the Create button since we're showing you how to create an NFT. You connect with your wallet, so you click MetaMask. Uh, MetaMask is going to pop up a verification for you to connect your account to OpenSea. Click Confirm. Then accept and sign OpenSea's terms. And you have a window to create a new NFT here. So it's pretty simple and straightforward from this point. Uh, I'm gonna go and upload an image. You can drag and drop it. And here's my crazy Crocs image, or crappy Crocs. Uh, there's a place to put in a website. I'm just gonna put in Google. <clears throat> uh, then you can add description about your item, anything that you wanna add. Um, any description of your artwork or your process. Now, if you make a collection, which is kind of like an art playlist, you can add it to that collection. Um, now there's properties. This is metadata for your art that you can create on the spot. So if you don't know what that is, you don't need to worry about it. But if you wanted to add metadata, you could say background is rainbow. Uh, we could say the color of my Crocs eyes are black. And then if you're going to make a collection of a bunch of different NFTs, people can compare the different traits of the NFTs for collectible purposes. Now down at the bottom here, you've got supply and blockchain options. Uh, the two you want to stick with mainly are going to be Ethereum or Polygon. Uh, Polygon is really cheap, so you can create as many NFTs as you want. So the supply of you know, 10,000 NFTs, if you're going to create one and you want it to be valuable, it's best to probably stick with Ethereum. So we're going to go ahead and create one Ethereum NFT, pass the verification. <clears throat> and we've got our NFT listed on OpenSea. And from here, you should be able to transfer it or sell your NFT or do whatever you want with it. Um, keep in mind, OpenSea does a weird process where your NFT is technically not actually minted until someone makes its first purchase or you transfer it. Uh, so, but there you have it. That's how you can upload your own art to OpenSea. If you want to follow me on Twitter for more NFT collections and tutorials, uh, my Twitter is Grimy Frankie, G-R-I-M-Y-F-R-A-N-K-I-E. Or if you want to make a donation, my Ethereum domain is grimyfrankie.ethereum. Uh, all right, follow 60 Second Crypto for more tutorials.